So here we have Hoka versus Sorconi in the battle of stability and cushioning. So these two are pretty much my two favourite stability shoes and really right now actually more than that they're kind of two of my favourite shoes just to go running in. Doesn't matter if I was going to go and do a 10k, if I'm going to go and do a long run, if I want to do a tempo run, if I want to do some intervals. Both of these are shoes that I would be tempted to grab and I regularly do so I have a strong liking for both of them. I think they're both excellent. But which one is actually the best? And to be truthful, before I sat down and sort of did a bit of a char on sort of the pros and cons on both of them, I didn't know. I like them both loads. So if you're in a market for either one of these shoes, you won't go wrong. They are both excellent. But that would make a boring video, wouldn't it? So let's get into a little bit of a, a face off between the two of them. First up, grip. Well, they've both got fairly grippy soles. I mean, they're not trail shoes, obviously they're road shoes. I've been out in all weathers in both of them. They both performed excellent. I haven't had any issues with either, so it, that's just a draw. So let's get into the midsole and the cushioning. Well, yeah, unsurprisingly, in terms of cushioning, the Hoka is gonna win this one. To be fair though, it's extremely close. The Ever Run and the EVA, kind of a combination that Sorconi's got is excellent, but I would have to just give the nod there to Hoka. Let's get on to the upper. Uh, for me, and this one, the way it's just got this sort of more uh, material stretchy fit, it's a bit more breathable, it's a bit more stretchy, it's a bit more comfy, yeah. How do they fit? Well, for a start, the Hoka, I had to go up half a size. Um, so that's not a good start. It's got a slightly more pointy toe box. In terms of fit, I'd say the Sorconi is true to fit, it's true to size, um, and it is just a little bit more comfortable. Styling, gosh, yeah. I mean, styling is extremely subjective. I like both of them. I think they both look, I mean, obviously they both look very different, but I like the styling in both of them. I mean, if I'm doing a race and I'm rocking either one of these, I'm gonna feel fairly happy with what's on my feet. It's a draw. Ride. Well, this one has got the Meta Rocker. So Hoka with their Meta Rocker system. So you kind of feel as it, if you roll through your foot strike, that that is helping you and it is very responsive. The Sorconi has the Ever Run material in there, which runs the full length of the shoe and that has very good energy return and you feel that it has got a lovely blend of cushioning and responsiveness. So they're both really good. They have different rides, but they're both excellent. I've been trying to work out which one I think is best and really, I don't think there is a best. Again, I think this is a draw. Versatility, sort of the ability to do all different runs and all different things with these shoes. Again, they're both excellent. As I said at the beginning, I would happily take them for a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon. I would use these for any of those things. And if I was gonna do intervals or, or any kind of interesting different things, apart from trails, which they're not designed to be trail shoes, I think they're both extremely versatile shoes that you can do all different types of things in. So yeah, I know it's boring, but it's another draw. So when we tot up the points and there isn't much in it, it is a photo finish win for the Sorconi. But I can't tell you enough how close it is. These are both really good shoes. So yes, on balance, when I added everything up, I did feel that the, the Sorconi just by a hair was the winner. Um, but that's not to take it away from the Hoka because this is also an excellent shoe and I'm very happy popping both of these on my feet. So I don't know if this is going to help you at all. It's so, so close. They're both great shoes. <sighs> but yeah, by a photo finish, by a nose, it's the Sorconi. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.